This is the Catechized Life on Higher Things. This week on the Catechized Life, we are looking at the fourth petition of the Lord's Prayer. In the previous episode, we talked about the very first three petitions, how we're praying against our sinful nature, our old Adam. However, in this fourth petition, we're praying for something called daily bread. Now, what do we actually mean by daily bread? Are we praying for a loaf of bread that's cut in nice little slices, maybe with a little bit of butter and jam on it? Or are we praying for that communion wafer, that little round piece of bread that we receive during communion? Well, we're actually praying for neither of these. We're praying for daily bread. And that daily bread is all that we would need to sustain us in this life. In other words, daily bread really communicates that which we need to make it in this life as human beings. That would include things such as water, uh, shelter, clothing, um, protection at night, a bed to sleep on, shoes that we wear, all of that which sustains us in living our earthly lives. Now, why do we actually pray this? Well, we pray this for a couple reasons. Number one, we pray this because the Lord automatically gives this to us. I mean, just think about this. Even the pagan who does not recognize the Lord receives these good gifts daily from him. But we pray this as Christians because we want to recognize and realize that the Lord will continually remind us that all of this that we've received is gift. It is indeed gift. The very air that we breathe, to the food that we eat, the water that we drink, uh, the very clothing that we wear, the shoes that are on our feet, the bed that we sleep on in safety is all sheer gift. Complete gift from the Lord. And there's another reason why we pray for daily bread, and that is this, because like the Old Testament Israelites from Exodus chapter 16, we grumble, we certainly grumble, we look at our neighbor's daily bread, and we want his daily bread, and we want our other neighbor's daily bread, and we want yesterday's daily bread, and tomorrow's daily bread, and we just want to accumulate it all for ourselves. We're like a bunch of pack rats trying to take it all in. That is the way that it is with our sinful nature. And we're never content. I mean, this goes against the ninth and the tenth commandment of coveting. And so we covet our neighbor's daily bread. However, when we pray this Lord's Prayer for giving us the daily bread, we're praying that the Lord would give us what we need, not too much and not too little, so that we might be content. There's a real gift in contentment, being content with what the Lord has given us. And so we pray for the daily bread, what we need, just like the Old Testament Israelites receiving that manna daily, each and every day, that would sustain us in this life as we walk in our vocations. So again, we come back to this fourth petition. We pray for daily bread, that the Lord would continually sustain us, that we would also recognize these gifts that he has given us, knowing that it is all from his goodness and his care for us, that we are just great recipients, not only of daily bread, but great recipients of his forgiveness, mercy, life, and salvation. This is the Catechized Life with higher things.